Hey moviegoers, I bet some of you are animal lovers as well. We have some quick facts that any dog or cat lover must know. All animal friends want to do is equip you with the knowledge. Number one, dog licensing. Yes, all dogs must be licensed under New York State law. Go to your local town clerk to license your dog yearly. This must be done when your dog is at least four months of age and within the first 10 days of moving to Wyoming County. If you choose to ignore this, you will eventually hear from an animal control officer and could be given a hefty fine or court appearance or even jail time or maybe all three. So go and license your dog and all will be well. Number two, report found dogs. Say you find a dog wandering loose around the neighborhood or he happens to lay on your front porch. Our first instinct would be to catch the dog with either a dog leash, put it in a fenced in area or in your garage or barn. Then you should always call 911 to report it. A 911 operator will connect you with an animal control officer. Now this next part is not optional. If you have found a dog under the law, you have found someone's property, and you must turn it over to the authorities. This means it is illegal for you to keep a dog that you have found, even if your sole purpose is to find the owner. The dog must be turned over to animal control. Those that fail to do so can be arrested. Number three, spay and neuter. Let's be honest, folks. Every dog needs to be spayed or neutered. Here are some reasons if you're on the fence or against it altogether. Unwanted pregnancies contribute to overpopulation and euthanasia of unwanted dogs. 85% of dogs hit by vehicles are unaltered, according to Spay USA. It's only natural for unaltered dogs to run and find a mate in heat. And medical conditions such as testicular and mammary cancers and pyometris are life-threatening risks. According to Perry Vet Clinic, to have them fixed, especially before the first heat cycle, all but eliminates these problems. So really, there's no good reason why you shouldn't spay or neuter. Just do it. Just do it! Number four, train them young. When you first get a dog, even if she's an old gal, begin the training immediately. Don't use harnesses, they're a gimmick. Instead, use a martingale collar so you have better control. Also, use the red slip leash, which is a popular for at-home training. Number five, vaccinate your pets. The most annoying excuse for not vaccinating your cat is because it's indoors. Indoors is just a general location and where your cat stays. It's not a guarantee. Cats can get out and critters such as bats can get in. Under the law, cats are specifically mentioned that need to be vaccinated against rabies. And your vet is granted permission to give this vaccine even if you didn't ask for it, simply because the law requires it. So take advantage of those free anti-rabies clinics that pop up every year or take your pet to the vet and get the shot. Save yourself the hassle of getting in trouble with the law. Oh, don't forget the other vaccines. Now, just to be clear, we are not vaccine pushers. Rabies is the only one required by law, so you really can't back away from that. However, there are other diseases the dogs can get exposed to and should be vaccinated against, such as parvovirus, kennel cough, Lyme disease, and leptospirosis. Ask your vet which disease your pet's protection against and just get the shot. The shots have been around a long time and are tested and trusted by your veterinarian so you know they're good. If you follow these facts and advice, you'll be creating a healthier and happier community. If you want to learn more animal-related issues and topics, check out our Chow Podcast wherever you stream and our educational videos on YouTube and Rumble. To learn more about Animal Friends of Wyoming County, visit our social media, our website, www.animalfriendsofwyco.com. Now sit back and enjoy the movie. I want the popcorns to hold them. Sit back and enjoy the movie.